Welcome to today's session. Today's session in mental health, we are going to look at uh, psychiatric uh, emergency. So when we talk about psychiatric emergency, um, we'll go straight anyway to the question so that we look at the question for this evening. So the question of course reads, Mr. Chriswell was brought to the hospital in unconscious state with the history of taking pesticide after a quarrel with the wife. Upon arrival at the outpatient department, the nurse in charge ordered other nurses and clinicians on duty that a quick response should be done to save the life of Mr. Chriswell. Question A is saying define the term psychiatric emergencies. Question B, explain five psychiatric emergencies. Question C, describe the five roles of the nurse in suicide prevention. And question D, explain five points you will give to Mr. Chriswell and the family before discharge. Okay, so when we talk about psychiatric emergencies, which is this particular question, psychiatric emergencies refers to the acute situation in which individuals experience severe disturbance in thoughts, mood, behavior, or perception that require immediate intervention to prevent harm to themselves or others so basically that is what we talk about when we refer to a psychiatric emergencies in this particular case we are talking about severe disturbance in thought so there are many psychiatric conditions where an individual may experience severe disturbance in thought mood or behavior or perception itself and these situations may require immediate interventions because this individual with a psychiatric emergence may harm themselves or may harm others. Hence, normally, when we talk about psychiatric emergencies, you find that uh, it often involves a, a, a crisis situation which should be there where the individual's ability to function or cope is significantly impaired posing a risk to their well-being or safety. Hence, we talk about psychiatric emergencies. So we'll look at some examples of psychiatric emergencies. But at the moment, yes, we can move on to the next question, which is talking about five psychiatric emergencies. So when we talk about examples of psychiatric emergencies, there are quite a number of them. But of course, the first one that we can talk about is a suicidal crisis. So suicidal crisis or suicide crisis in itself is one of the psychiatric emergencies. So in suicidal crisis, this is when an individual expresses the intention or attempt to harm themselves. And it constitutes psychiatric emergencies, which this may involve in itself uh, suicidal thoughts, plans, or actions themselves where an individual takes a harmful substance like our scenario where they literally want to kill themselves. So suicidal crisis, hence, is one of the, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the, what, uh, the psychiatric emergency. The other psychiatric emergency is psychotic episodes. Now, when we talk about psychotic episodes, this is where we see sudden onset or exacerbation of symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, or disorganized thinking, which impairs the individual's ability to perceive reality accurately. So an individual may have these psychotic episodes and maybe these psychotic episodes may lead them to wanting to kill themselves. For example, when you talk about an individual having psychotic episodes where they are having hallucinations or delusions, some individuals may have hallucinations of, uh, I mean, delusions of persecution where they feel like someone is always uh, after their life. Hence, this individual may even want to commit suicide because of having these psychotic episodes. Apart from that, an individual may be having hallucinations, maybe auditory hallucinations, telling them to throw themselves um, uh, into a, a moving vehicle or to kill themselves. All these are examples of psychotic episodes that may cause an individual to be classified as having a psychiatric emergency. Apart from that, 
uh, acute substance intoxication or withdraw. Uh, when we talk about acute substance intoxication or withdrawal, these are instances where individuals experience severe effects due to the ingestion or cessation of substances such as drugs or alcohol, and this may lead to behavioral or cognitive impairment in itself. Apart from that, we can talk about severe anxiety or panic attacks themselves. When we talk about severe anxiety or panic attacks, this is where an individual now has intense or overwhelming feelings of fear or anxiety that is accompanied by physical symptoms such as rapid heartbeat, shortness of breath, they may be experiencing sweating, and these may uh, require immediate interventions to alleviate this particular distress. For example, an individual having shortness of breath or difficulties to breathe because of having severe anxiety, this in itself is a psychiatric emergency. We all go through anxiety or we experience anxiety, but we normally figure out how to control our anxiety, anxious state such that it does not put us in an emergency uh, crisis or state. Hence, severe anxiety is one of the examples of emergency psychiatry. Apart from that, we can talk about aggression itself. In terms of aggression, aggression is a mental condition itself, uh, but when we talk about aggression, this is where individuals, they exhibit behaviors that pose a threat to themselves or others. And this includes physical aggression, verbal threats, or destructive actions, and these may ensure or necessitate prompt intervention to ensure safety. So aggressive behavior may cause injury or harm to others, including the patients themselves. Hence, aggression is one of the examples of, uh, of psychiatric emergencies. So these are some of the psychiatric emergencies that we can talk about among others. When we talk about psychotic episodes, sometimes you can even separate them to say schizophrenia, mania, all these are examples of uh, psychiatric uh, emergencies. So those are some of the psychiatric emergencies that we can talk about. Then the next question, of course, is saying describe five roles of the nurse in suicide prevention. Now, when we talk about five roles of the nurse in suicide prevention, the first one is um, assessment and screening role. So with this role, the nurse plays a crucial role in identifying individuals at risk for suicide by conducting comprehensive assessment of mental health and suicidal ideation as well as the risk factor. So this particular role help the nurse to, uh, to identify all these things that we have mentioned. The other role of the nurse in suicide prevention is crisis intervention itself. So crisis intervention role, in this role, the nurse provides immediate support and interventions during a suicidal crisis. Here, the nurse may offer empathy, they may uh, uh, in, be involved in active listening and safety planning to help the individuals navigate through that acute distress when, uh, when they're having that particular uh, crisis. Then apart from that, the other role of the nurse is collaborative role. So in terms of collaborative role, this is where the nurse collaborates with interdisciplinary teams, including psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, to develop that personalized care plan tailored to individuals' needs, ensuring that there's con continuity of care and follow-up care to individuals uh, who are having uh, suicidal risks. Apart from that, the other role of the nurse is education and awareness role. So in this role, the nurse educates the patient, the family, the communities about the, uh, the, the suicide risk factors, the warning signs and available resources to, pr to prevent and intervene. This helps promote uh, destigmatization as well as early intervention in individuals who have uh, suicidal ideations or risks. The other role of a nurse in suicide uh, suicide prevention is follow-up and support role. So this role that the nurse plays 
offers ongoing support and monitoring to individuals at risk for suicide by maintaining regular contacts, providing emotional support, and facilitating access to therapeutic interventions or support groups to prevent relapse. So those are some of the roles uh, of uh, the NES in suicide prevention. The last question was talking about explain five points you will give mm -hmm. to Mr. Chriswell and the family before discharge. So when we talk about five points, the first one is, of course, medication adherence. So when we talk about med medication adherence, the emphasis here is on the importance of taking the prescribed medications as directed by the healthcare professionals to manage psychiatric symptoms effectively and prevent relapse so that this particular patient should not go into any suicidal risks because of having a mental uh, illness. Apart from that, uh, the other IEC is, of course, uh, safety planning. So on safety planning here, you need to ensure that the, the nurse collaborates with Mr. Chriswell and the family to develop a comprehensive safety plan outlining the strategies for coping with the stress, accessing support networks, and managing suicidal thoughts or impulses. Apart from that, the other point we can talk about is crisis resources. So with crisis resources, this is where you provide information about local crisis hotlines, support groups, or mental health services available in the community for immediate assistance during time of distress or crisis. The other point we can talk about is family education and support. So on family education and support, this is where you educate the family members about the nature of the psychiatric illness, the common symptoms, and effective ways of supporting Mr. Chriswell in his recovery journey, including fostering open communication and reducing environmental stress on Mr. Chriswell. Then, of course, the fifth point you can talk about is follow-up care. So with follow-up care, here you stress the importance of attending scheduled follow-up appointments with the healthcare providers for the ongoing monitoring, medication, and management, as well as therapeutic intervention to provide or promote a long-term stability and well-being of the patient. So these are some of the points that we can talk about uh, to, to or give to Mr. Chris and the family on discharge. And basically, this is how we could have attempted or can attempt this particular question. Till next time, goodbye.